Forge, and welcome back to our brand new video. So a few months ago, Forge Studios released a new texture pack, which I just got around to getting, and it is the Super Circuit Texture Pack. Now at first, I wasn't really too sure about this pack. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it or not, but after playing around with it, I actually discovered that it's actually not that bad of a texture pack. It, of course, it's a little bit more unique than any other texture pack that 4J Studios have released. But if I go ahead and come down here, we have Research Packs and we have the Super Circuit Texture Pack. Now for this texture pack, this does come with some skins as well, which I will go ahead and take a look at later on in the video. So here we are inside the world, and as you can see, everything kind of looks a little bit more like the Matrix. And this is the one thing that really drew my eye to it, because it's very, very unique. It basically gives you more like that techno feeling, kind of like a synthwave feeling, and I like that quite a bit. Take a look at the gravel. This is what gravel looks like. It looks really cool. I like that quite a bit. The trees give you more like a circuit board feeling. It's pretty cool. Looking at the water, the water is also really nice as well. But the village, I have to say, this is probably the coolest village that I've ever seen. And I don't know why there's a lock on this door because you can obviously open it up. So maybe it's just for looks. I mean, like, I don't know. But it is still really cool just to look at this village. The cobblestone really looks cool as well. And the desert, I don't really like it all that much. Because it kind of doesn't blend in that well with the bottom next to it. But also, most importantly, it just looks way too bland and dark. I just don't like that at all. And if you were to compare it to, like, let's say the cacti. The cacti are the brightest thing inside this biome. And I think that the sand should have been a little bit brighter. Just like standard micro sand. But that's just me. And all the logs, they basically look exactly the same. So it doesn't matter which bomb that you go to. If you were to go to, let's say, a savanna bomb, as you can see, the wood looks like this. If you were to take a look at the oak wood, the oak wood adds the same texturing as well. Now, the stripped variants of the logs, they're going to be do using a different texture. And if you look at the very top, it's going to be more like a diamond shape. If you take a look at these logs, these are going to be more of a square shape. I have to say that finding cobblestone and then mossy cobblestone, they actually look quite nice next to each other. Now, looking inside the inventory, there's going to be a lot of items in here that's going to be more like outlines more than anything. And that's pretty cool. I'm going to go and grab the card pumpkin really quickly because I'm very curious. Does it give you a different outline when you wear it? Oh, wow. That's actually pretty cool looking. Of course, it's still a little hard to see, but it still looks a lot better than the standard pumpkin texture. I like that a lot. We're going to go ahead and get rid of that and we're going to go ahead and look at a few of the mobs. For the different mobs inside this pack, they are going to give off more like a virtual version of the standard micro mobs, if that makes sense. So like if I go and place down a cow, this is what I meant by virtual feeling. More like a cyber version of them, and it's pretty cool looking. And if you were to go look at like all the different mobs, some of them are going to have the same colors as standard mobs, but other ones, they're not going to be sharing the same colors. So like if you look at the ocelot, the ocelot is normally yellow and black, but now it's just completely yellow. If I were to go and place down all the different cats, we're going to get ourselves different color variations. And I like this one quite a bit. It looks pretty cool. And I'm sorry, cat. I did not mean to do that. Now, we also got ourselves a few other mobs. We got ourselves the parrots. So, I like the parrots. The parrots are probably one of my favorite mobs inside this pack. We have ourselves the horses, which have different colors inside them. I like the orange one a lot. We have ourselves the llamas, which llamas, um, the only one that's cool looking is the blue one. But other than that, they're going to be sharing the same colors as standard llamas. And then we have ourselves... And then we're going to go and grab a few of the Alstom monsters. Because I think the Alstom monsters are going to be cool looking as well. So we got some creepers. Let's grab some spiders. And let's go for a skeleton. We also got ourselves a... And I'm also going to grab a few of the Alstom monsters as well. So I think that's going to be good for the time being. So let's go and look at this. So we got ourselves the creeper. Which the creeper is not green anymore. Come on creeper. You need to be green. You cannot be cyan colors. We have ourselves the spiders, which is yellow and not black. We have ourselves the skeletons, which skeletons, I think they're the same color as before. Yeah, they're the same color, but they're cool looking, especially the bow. The bow looks really nice. So then, of course, we got ourselves the ravagers. The ravagers are blue. Oh, it also looks like you're wearing like a visor. Now, the ravager looks amazing. Looks really cool. We got ourselves the pillagers, which the pillagers also look really cool as well. Then of course you got to the phantoms. Now the best way I can look at the phantom is if I were to come over this way. So yeah, the phantoms are going to be blue. So let's go and place down a bunch of the villagers all over the place. So the villagers, wow. 
the villager outfits, they look amazing. It looks like I started the battle. Oh uh, wait, only one villager is going after them though. You know what? I'm just gonna go and leave him at that. So we're just gonna go ahead and go this way. So then here sells all the different skins. And for me, I like them a lot. Especially this one. It looks like it's like Prismarine or something like that. But we do got ourselves the fashion mail. Looks really nice. I definitely like that coloration. We have ourselves a few of the other skins right here. So if you want to go ahead and look really cybery, then this is going to be the pack just for you. So really nice. So with that one, that is pretty much it for what I wanted to show you with the Super Circuit Texture Pack. And honestly, it's actually a really cool pack. Would you honestly use it in survival mode? Probably not. But if you wanted to go and use it to make some kind of really cool mini game, then you could definitely go ahead and do that. Because that is where this pack is probably going to shine the most. But I do want to hear your thoughts down below in the comments or what you think of this pack. And if you enjoyed today's video, then also let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe so you never miss an upload. For now, I hope you have a logical day and I will catch you next time. Bye!